gaming. And I've got just a thing for you guys tonight because I had a bunch of random Nintendo games that I had to get out of the way. So I thought, what would be better than to do it right now? Hi, Bubba. Thank you for coming right away. That was, uh, I was very thoughtful of you. You are here first. That's true. Um, so the first ROM hack I have today is my only Donkey Kong Country one that I could actually find that was like decent enough. And apparently it takes heavily inspiration from Sonic Mania of all places because it's called Donkey Kong Country Mania. It tries to remix the game in various ways to make it more like, well, Sonic Mania, I guess, or like a redux of DK. See, I, I don't know exactly, but we're going to play it. We're going to find out. I, I just found it on like romhacking.net where I find most of these things. Uh, so far, the first level seems... Oh, wait, I don't think there was a Naughty up here originally, was there? Uh, it feels familiar, yet not familiar. Yeah, there was no there was no little yellow guy in the original. So it definitely takes some inspiration. Why am I playing as DK? I should be playing as the main man, Diddy Kong. It's really interesting. It seems like a decent enough ROM hack. I've heard it gets very hard as it goes on, so that'll be interesting to see. Oh, there's Ram Rambo. Ramby, Rambo. Uh, anytime. Honestly, I'd be down the stream whenever. It'd be fun. Oh, oh. Yes, yeah, see. Don't know where the bottomless pits are, though. That's the only problem here. Alright, first level done. Jungle Jaunt. Yeah, so they're all named differently, too. Simeon Swing. <laughs> they're all different little puns. I love it. Okay. Uh, so, Monday? Uh, I might have to do it next week after because I'm my schedule is very tight this upcoming week with streams and work and stuff. I've kind of uh, I've kind of tried to find time to do everything before the month ends, but after that I'll be fairly free. I'm gonna do a Mario marathon, but that can just be whenever, so it doesn't necessarily matter. Oh, come oh oh. Oh, fuck. I thought I uh, I thought I did the cartwheel jump. No? Oh, you have a lot of lives. This game's very generous for some reason. This game's immensely generous in comparison to the original. Return to monkey. Exactly. Oh my god, I thought I jumped. You have infinite lives, funny enough. I don't know why, but um I guess we're going to find out. But yeah, for uh Free Mecha since you just joined. This is called Donkey Kong Country Mania, which apparently takes uh, inspiration from what I read from Sonic Mania, where it tries to redux the original levels and make them into something completely new. So, uh, we're going to see how that goes. So far, it seems alright. I'm only two levels in, so... But it seems interesting enough. Can I cartwheel jump? Yeah, it is cool, right? Uh, now my question is, is, do we get a Sonic Mania reference? Oh my god, there's like a little lag here though. <laughs> we got Kong, but we already have infinite lives, so it doesn't necessarily matter. In the original game, if you get all the words and spell out Kong, you get an extra life, but... You have infinite lives here, so... Cave Barrel Blast. Oh, we're already getting somewhere. Ow. Oh. Okay. Okay. I did game capture this time, by the way, like you said, to test it out and see how it is. So if it seems any different, let me know, or if it seems worse. Ow! Oh, fuck them. The fucking crushes. Diddy's not good against crushes, because they're big. That's when you need donkey, man. Looks good? Okay, good. That's why I wanted to know. Yeah. There we go. Wow, they, they put a lot of barrels, too. I see. Ooh. Oh, zinger. God, I got to hear Okayu make a zinger sound effect during her stream, and it was so wholesome. She just does, like, the little bee. Hmm. And it was really... It, it made me explode. My heart just died instantly. Oh, okay. Do-do-do-do-do-do. 
I keep I have to go and clip it myself because no one's clipped it. And I was like, how can nobody clip her doing the zinger noise? I feel like one of the best things about Donkey Kong Country is the stupid sound effects all the characters make. So hearing that, I was so happy. He's a little dance. Oh, when he swims? <laughs> He's a little jive. Oh, when he beats a level? It's so stupid, right? I love it. Yeah, it's so cute. Yeah, this is totally... On the overworld. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. It's so good. Uh, yeah, I uh, actually plan on doing a Mario RPG month eventually. Uh, March, I'm just going to do like Mario platformers and stuff. But I absolutely will do Mario RPG at some point. I actually really love that game. So, it's one of the... That is one of my favorite games. Oh, come back. Come back. Thank you. That's how I dance low-key. You dance like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Fuck no, come back. Unguard. Return to me. Where did he go? Wow, he actually just left. He's gone. He dipped. <laughs> Look at them dance together. <laughs> okay, so apparently this gets a lot harder, so... I'm not going to say this is easy right now, because it is, but, like, I know it's going to get harder, so. Yeah, but so far, the game eases you into it, at least. It's not hard off the bat. Ooh, yeah! Barrel! Oh. There's no point to actually doing it, but it's always so cool to do. Are you fucking with me? Man, fuck you, ostrich. Zinger! Wow, this game's nice enough to not give you the death animation in that situation. Because usually in the original game, you die and you fall all the way down, and then it plays through the whole like scene. Fuck, I want to show you guys what DK looks like when he rolls on the barrel. It wasn't meant to be. Unless we get the barrel in another level. <clears throat> okay, nope. Okay, stay low. Okay, where's the next zinger? Zinger checkpoint the fact that this has infinite lives kind of feels unfair but maybe i'm just really good at donkey kong country so that's what counterbalances it where's the zinger Come on, you can't tell me there's no Zinger. Oh, they're not moving. Zingers aren't moving. Oh, he's moving. Am I just in the perfect spot? <laughs> Apparently I picked the perfect spot. Oh, okay. There's got to be one up here. There he is. I knew it. I called him. Yeah, I knew he was going to happen. Where's the barrel? Oh, it's up here. Alright, let's try and save Diddy for this moment. Because at least if we get hit in that part now... <gasps> Look at him go! Look at him go! Look at him go! He's going! He's vibing! Good monkey. Alright, let's get a shortcut through this. Let's actually make it to the end. See, like, there's extra lives here, but what do they... I don't know. What do they matter? Wow, we actually didn't get a shortcut at all, I don't think. Okay, so we know to hug, like, the top area until near that... Near that one part. Like, you could just stay up here. Honestly, we could even just take the hit. Now that we have two. Like, we could just use DK as a meat shield. If he gets hit, then oh well. I know at what part now, I think. It's after it's after this next one, right? Or no, is it this next one? Yeah, no, it's after this next one. You have to stay down here. Yep. Alright. Boom. Boom. Okay, not so bad. Oh, it's one of these guys. One of the barrel shooters. Oh, the monkey sh the monkey guy, actually. Get the fuck out of here. Whew. Fast. 
Look at that, Diddy took all the credit. Good for you, Diddy. <laughs> Donkey Kong did everything and Diddy took the credit. Very naughty's lair. Oh, he's very naughty. Are the boss fights any different? So far, it doesn't feel like it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hard carry. So far, this boss is the exact same. Eh. One more. Eh, eh. Oh, he had a heart attack. Okay, so, uh, so far, Donkey Kong Country Mania. Winky's Walkway Game Boy Color. Oh, it's the Game Boy Color version of this, uh, stage. That's cool. They recreated the Game Boy Color version of the stage into the original Donkey Kong Country. Uh, can I? I don't think I can. No, I can't reach. Unless. Unless I use Winky. Yes, his name is Winky. Don't judge him. His name is Winky, and this is his walkway. Could get worse. There's a later level called Necky's Nuts. God, there's like no purpose to bananas in this, because there's infinite lives. What What is the point? I feel so sad. Oh, oh come on, Winky. Come on, Winkers. You always take care, make sure to always take care of your Winky. Don't let your Winky get hurt. Uh. Alright, we took care of our Winky. Our Winky is protected. Minecart mayhem. This is what everybody was waiting for. Pfft, it's already fucking worse. <laughs> okay. 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 You can gauge how far you are in a level, by the way, by the letters. So, like, we're halfway through because we just got the O. Or we just saw the O, I should say. Alright, come on, DK. Alright, we're not gonna, like, literally die to the first fucking, uh, minecart placement this time. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Oh no! Oh. Okay. <gasps> that scared the fuck out of me. Oh, okay, never mind. It didn't matter. Where's DK? Oh, he's just walking behind. <laughs> DK, come back. Fuck, I lost concentration because I was thinking about him. What the? What just happened? Wait, what just happened? What just happened? Did the game just glitch out? No, why? Is there a rewind feature at least? I, maybe I can go back. That sucks. We must have hit a... Okay, so this uh this ROM hack wasn't fully tested, apparently, when they made it. Uh, let's see. Customize hotkeys. Is there a rewind? There's a fast forward. No, there's only a fast forward option, I think. Damn. Wait, there's a page two. Rewind! Okay. Let me actually put it in. Rewind is disabled. Of course it is! Uh, well. Fuck. Now I know how I have to save state in this game, apparently. I 
put rewind as F, because that's how I feel. It's just a big, fat F. Uh, where's reset the game? There we go. Wow, that really sucks. I don't think we got that far, but I'm still sad. I think all we got past was Winkies, right? Winkies walkway? Yeah, okay. I have my safe state set, so. Boo boo. Boo boo boo. No! I didn't. It, don't, it didn't save any of the game? Oh, that's even worse. That's even worse. I want to play more Donkey Kong. I was not done playing Donkey Kong. Now I have to go through this all over again? Hold on, maybe I could speed run it. Maybe I could speed run it for the for the gang. <laughs> Dude, maybe I'll just act is there like an action replay for like fucking moon jump in this game so I can just fly all the way back? I I honestly don't care. I don't wanna like actually have to reshow everyone the levels. Hold up. I've got an idea. Game shark codes, maybe? Let's see. Game genie. Going that far back, huh? Uh. Uh, I'm just trying to see if maybe there's a code that just lets us get right out of the level or something. Press start and then select to select any level, not just the ones you beat. Let's see if this works. Let's see if we can get right back where we were. Hi, Black. We crashed the game. Um, Somehow we were playing a level and we... We landed in a minecart and collected a Diddy Kong at the same exact time, and the game hard crashed because of it. So, now we're back at the beginning with no save. So, I have to put in some kind of cheat or something to skip back to where we were. Start and select. Oh. Now let me exit the level. Alright, that didn't help. I'm just gonna add like a mega jump. It says there's a mega jump. Jump even higher on Diddy Kong or Donkey Kong. Fuck it. Here we go, DK. Actually Diddy, because Diddy has um Diddy has a gyre higher jump height, so let's just fuck this game even more. Here you go. The game vibe checked your skill. I was really gaming hard. Alright. Where's my jump? I don't see my game. I'm not jumping. Where's my high jump, bro? I'm just playing the level normally. What the fuck is this? This is literally my standard jump height. Did the code actually even work? Uh huh. Enter, add. Let's see. Enter, add. Let's see. Maybe I didn't put the code in properly earlier. Nope, that's just... It's going back. 
floats through ceiling. I'm trying. I, I, I just want to see if we can just get to the next place. Uh... Alright, maybe, maybe I have to reset the game. Oh, my jump feel fucking... Oh my god, I'm like an astronaut now. This isn't what I wanted, but... Oh! With the power of moon jumping and save states, we'll get there in no time. Yeah, so, uh, for, just so you know, Black, to explain, this is Donkey Kong Country Mania. It basically is uh, heavily inspired by Sonic Mania's idea of taking past zones and recreating them into, like, new things. That's what Donkey Kong Country Mania is. It tries to take old Donkey Kong Country levels and spice them up. So far, that's that's been pretty good, aside from the fact that, you know, the game hard crashed. God damn it. That didn't help at all. Okay, hold up. I need to fucking game on this shit real quick. Okay, no, that was terrible. There we go. Yeah, it's like, I put on a moon jump, but I, the moon jump doesn't actually last that long, so that doesn't help. But you get to see some of the levels we already did. Don't you feel good about that? You can see everything you missed all over again. God, why not? Jesus Christ. But yeah, uh, so far, I mean, level design, it's been fun. It's just, uh, you also have infinite lives. I don't know why, but the game just gives you infinite lives. That's not a code I put on. <laughs> that is quite literally just in the game. You just have infinite lives for some reason or another. I guess they thought this would be hard, but uh, it gets harder apparently as it goes on, so I'm going to take their word for it and say it gets really hard. But so far from what I've experienced, it has not been very hard. Give me back to Diddy. No, don't roll in there, you fucking idiot. Oh, get me out of here. Son of a bitch, Donkey Kong. Look what you fucking did. You play Mega Man, how hard can it be? Yeah, exactly. Unless I kill myself, and you know. I just want to turn these codes off and just get back to the fucking game. Oh my god. Come on. Alright, there's good timing. Fuck it, we can deal with that. I'm just using save states and high jump to get back to where I was. I gotta cheese this somehow, you know? Also, ex because you have infinite lives, getting, like, bananas and stuff are meaningless. Because extra lives literally mean nothing, so. Uh, we have to get out of here as soon as possible. Don't worry, this is a Donkey Kong speed run. How much faster is Diddy Swim with this on? Oh, he's like a fiend. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's a little swimming man. He's a little fiend. Just go, just go, just go, just go. I feel like I have... Last night my VODs went horribly wrong. Tonight the game crashed to start. Everything that goes wrong recently can go wrong. Big sadness in my heart. Now I know to save stay in between every level, though, so if we get a hard crash, we can just start, you know, at the beginning. Here, give me, give me in guard. Let me hump. Oh, never mind. Go, 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 monkey. Go, monkey. Go, monkey. Go, monkey. Oh, 
I must be the speed. Hopefully when I turn the code off, it goes back off. <laughs> Otherwise, we, we fucked ourselves even more. Well, no, because we can go to Candy Safe State here. So it doesn't necessarily matter, I don't think. So, we're fine. We don't need Donkey Kong. We've already got the best character in the game. Alright, now we'll take him. Why not? Pity this man. Oh my god. The amount of speed I just gained from that. Donkey, Donkey Kong, but what if it was Sonic? That's what I'm playing right now. Outjump these dudes. I outmaneuvered these men's. After this one, we go down a little. Like right here. It's fine. God, it's so busted. It's like, it's not as good as I hoped, but it's still insanely broken. Alright, I'm using the candy safe state here. We can turn moon jumping off now, I think. Because all we have is the boss in one other level that's like immensely short. So, here, uh, turn these off. Hopefully it actually goes off. Clear. Okay. Very naughty. Okay, yeah, jump jump heights normal again. Ooh, ooh. Very naughty. Come on, very naughty. Ow! Fuck you, very naughty. It's Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch! Oh my god. It's the first time I actually lost that boss fight. I was on point earlier. Ooh. Come on, Diddy. Get your get your pot shots in. Ooh. Dude, don't fucking laugh at me. Laugh at me, bitch. Uh. Oh, you mother... I didn't realize he could literally just... Put you in a wall. I didn't have this earlier happening. That's crazy. Ooh. 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 Okay. All right. Come on, bitch. <sighs> he sniped me that time. Oh yeah. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, ugly ass gopher, bitch? Okay, now we get to go to Winky's walkway. Now, I said it earlier and I'll say it again. His name is this friend coming up that we're going to get. His name is Winky. Alright, but don't pick on him. He's a good boy. This is Winky and this is his walkway. Hence the name of the level, Winky's walkway. Come on, Winky. Winky, always take care of your winky, kids. Take care of your winky. It's his walkway, and prepare, make sure to take care. Ugh. Alright, there. Now we're back where we were before. This is where the game hard crashed on us. I'll show you the exact spot. We were more than halfway through the level too, which really sucks. But whatever. It's Donkey Kong, so, you know, how long could it really be? Oh. Wow. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. This part baited me really hard. Yep, and it baited me again. But the good part is there's a checkpoint right here. Now, Diddy's gonna follow us on foot. Because for some reason, the game does not like loading the second Kong into the cart. In this ROM hack in particular. In other games, it has... In the original version, it has no problem. Where is he? He's coming. I feel him. The son of a bitch. Where are you? You, mm, you son of a bitch. I knew it. He's coming again! Oh, no, how we dodged that one! That one fucking almost had us really hard, too. There's another one coming. I can feel him! Oh! Oh! There's another one coming. He's coming. Wait! We we last seconded all three of those ones. Oh my god! That was insane. Okay, we didn't hard crash the game this time. That's good. Oh, that was crazy. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! It's a clapper. Ow! Ow! Clap trap. So, so far, this seems like a very standard, like, if you like Donkey Kong Country, but you wanted more Donkey Kong Country levels, like, this is pretty much the perfect thing for you. There's nothing been necessarily out of place here, outside of the fact that you have infinite lives, which, I, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of that, but, you know. Again, there has to be a reason, and I've heard this game gets very hard, so hopefully... The, de the design choice starts to fuck us so hard that we start to understand why infinite lives were put in. But so far, it's been okay. Oh, I should have stayed with Donkey. Alright, we're just going to go with Donkey. If he gets hit, he doesn't. Okay. It's fine. See? Wow, that was just a... We, we took a shot to land on the ground and it just happened to be the single bottomless pit. <laughs> That's really depressing. I don't understand why it has the monkey, like, crying noise if we actually have Diddy with us. Because in the original game, that's not a thing. If you have the second Kong, the barrel does not make noises. So that's implying there's a Kong stuck in there and we're just not letting him out. Very douchey of us. I want to see what the re recreation of red light, green light looks like. Because that level's really nuts. Mineshaft fight. Oh no, I don't like the sound of this. Okay. Boom, boom. Okay, I can't fight him. Let's jump on this barrel. Let's take a little ride. Oh! We're gamers. Ow. Ow. Uh-huh. Oh, fuck! Jump button. Jump button just failed me. I, I pressed jump, but it, I think it was just too late. Oh, I didn't want to grab it. I wanted to just jump off it and gain speed. Damn. Okay, see, in these cases, infinite lives is good, because, you know, sometimes you're like me, and you're just a fucking idiot. Okay. Oh, he took a high jump there. He took a stand. Oh my god. Oh. 
See, DK does have his benefits. These heavy enemies, you cannot jump on his ditty, and you actually get recoil with them. If, okay, now we're actually getting to the red light, green light stuff. I was wondering when the level would actually start doing this. It lasts a very long time, though. <sighs> grab it, grab it. Grab it. Oh, yeah. Now it's actually starting to feel like red light, green light. Where's Diddy? Alright, nice. Do, 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 do. Funky's Flights. No thanks. Tricky Temple. This level always really fucked me up as a kid. I want to see how they change it up. Uh, so far, so far, so tame. Oh my god, how did we not get hit by that? That was a little crazy. Okay. They really like using the uh, the jumping Kremlings, I've noticed. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? You wanna fucking- you wanna fight? Oh, oh, yeah, see they love using these little jumping Kremlings. I, I fucking hate them. <laughs> They're so annoying. Oh, okay. I'm holding on to this barrel. No, not anymore. I'm not. Yeah, I, t I knew I was taking the hit there. That was just a dumb, dumb moment. Oh, I jumped too high. Oh, I've got a checkpoint, so it doesn't necessarily matter all that much. Oh, I thought I rolled. What? Okay. Yeah, just, just take the death there. Alright, not bad, not bad. Yeah, you gotta take a really, a really low jump. And the problem with Donkey Kong Country, in comparison to other platformers, is it's very hard to make a low jump. As you can see, your lowest jump, I'll do a very slight tap. That That's like the lowest you can do with a slight tap. And that's still a fairly high jump. So, I don't think precise jump platforming is a, a strong point of Donkey Kong Country. Hence why you actually use the crouch more in these games than standard platforming titles. Like here. Oh, I want to go down here. R. A. R. Ow. E. And that spells Rowry. Okay, no. I'm good. I don't want to deal with the armadillo. Okay, crouch. Is there another one? Nope. Okay. I would argue this was easier than the original temple stage. Let's see how Neki's nuts has been changed. We've got to hit his nuts. Ugh. Come here, Neki. We're fighting Neki, and he's slapping his nuts at us. Eh. Wow, he stays a really long time in this. Yeah, in the original boss fight... He moves pretty much as instant as he comes, but here they they give it they make it a little generous. We'll do one more uh, world. We'll see if it gets any harder. No, no, then we'll go to a different game. But I, I actually have been having a good time with this. Uh, this game must get harder later on if it does get harder, because right now it's been very generous. I, 
So, uh, I actually would recommend this for people that even haven't played Donkey Kong Country. I think it's actually a little easier. Maybe it's just me talking, but I feel like it's a little actually easier than the original Donkey Kong Country. At least right now. If there's like, that much of a fucking level spike, I'll be kind of impressed. Or <laughs> I don't know if I'll actually be impressed, but I I'll be disturbed. Because that's, that is like... That's like going from like fucking spring yard to like labyrinth zone, you know? Like that kind of shit. Or how the Sonic one was originally supposed to be with Green Hill straight to labyrinth zone. That kind of, that's the kind of level cap on their level spike I'm talking about. Where is he? No? He's not gonna... He's not gonna show himself, the coward? Oh, now we have to spell this. K-O-N-G. Do you know what that spells? Very good. It's like one of those Dora the Explorer things where they just like awkwardly stare at the camera for a second and like hope the kid's actually responding to the television. Okay, maybe that's not so much easy for the average person. <laughs> but it was to me. Collapsing platform. So this level's pretty self-explanatory, I think. Oh, dude, it's it's fucking S cargo. Okay, so S cargo makes this a lot easier. But pff, there he goes. He's fucking dead. Not that we needed him. He's just holding us back from being a gamer. If anything, whoa! Oh, we didn't touch that. If we didn't touch it, pixel perfect. There, we were fucked actually, because that. That fucking uh, Crusher would have pushed us off with his fat ass like that. See, you get knocked back with Diddy. We have to do it again. Let's just do this instead. Let's just skip it. I feel like having DK out would be much smarter. But I'm not smart, so... Oh, you could almost roll jump that. With Diddy, oh, I I wanted to see if it was like a leap of faith scenario or, but we almost just cheesed it regardless. That would have been really funny. Boom, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum. Kind of want to try it again. Want to see if I could be a gamer. Oh, I'm a gamer. <laughs> Do, 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 do. <laughs> Fucker! Yeah, you need DK out for that part. For sure. For certain. You have to actually take advantage of your partner's uh, abilities for once. Something you don't actually do in the original game. Despite them having totally different uh, gimmicks to them. Come on, DK. DK, you fuck. He's so... He's so... Frumpy. There we go. Oh, no! I accidentally hit the load state button. Uh, alright, well, I guess that's the game's way of telling us to stop. <laughs> My finger hit it. My thingy. 
Okay. Well, this was really fun. Um, I thought it was actually a really good uh, game overall. I, I think, uh, it's it's got parts where it could be a little bit more difficult than an average uh, like the average Donkey Kong Country. But there's a lot of parts that make it a lot easier. So. I would say if you liked Donkey Kong Country 1, play this, because it's, it's still pretty fun. I actually had a good time with this, and considering last night I played a bunch of Sonic games, and a lot of them ended up being below average at best, this was a pleasant surprise. Fat finger load state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I shit the bed on that one. Um... So yeah, that is Donkey Kong Country Mania. If you want if you want more of that, it's it's good. I recommend it. That Eggman one? Okay, but that that was the highlight of the night. That's the sad part. That was the best thing we touched that night. That's saying a lot. Okay. Uh Was he really the villain? <laughs> was he? That's the question we've all been man, we've all been asking. Was Eggman truly bad? All right, Nintendo's gonna. Uh, by the way, uh, if you check the thing, it says like Donkey Metroid Country Adventure. Take the first letter from all of those black and see what it spells out. Take the first letter from Donkey. Metroid, Country, and Adventure, and you'll you'll see what the joke of the stream is. <laughs> and speaking of such things, we're gonna we're gonna start with a very popular one. Uh huh. Give it one sec. Oh, it's a little loud. Uh, mute your stream real quick. Er As soon as I said it. <laughs> Here. We'll do two for now. While I get this loaded. I'm pretty sure the music gives it away on what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to set this like how I played another game. Um, Hold up. Let me, let me share the game. I'm just setting up the buttons right now. We're playing something else now. We're going to play another fun game I like. Speaking of, uh, oh, I found it. Can't ruin the stream surprise. Here it is. A good old Metroid game, and not just anyone. AM2R, because how could I leave this out if I was doing a, a fan game slash ROM hack stream, right? Uh, let's see. I want to make... Button configuration to game. Change the button to sign to jump. I don't think I can. I maybe I could do it in game. That'll 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 help better. Actually, no. Wait. Do I have to press this to confirm it? That's so weird. Uh, fire. I'm gonna be telling you the truth. When I used to stream Super Metroid, because I are not stream but speed run, I actually like the R trigger for fire. So there's that. Uh, aim... Isn't there aim on an angle? No? Just aim upwards and downwards? Okay, well... Yeah, I used to speedrun Super Metroid, like, a lot. That was good times. 
Uh, weapon select. Morph ball. Just, uh... Classic Morph Ball, Super Ball. Okay. Yep, I think we're ready. Uh, tell me how the sound is, by the way, Black, if it's not loud enough or whatever. We'll do normal. Um, yeah, I used to speedrun Super Metroid, like, all the time. A few years ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Super Metroid used to be my major thing. I used I, uh... My world... My record was uh, 48 minutes. I think the world record is like 41, 42. But my my personal best record was 48. So I got really close. My I used to have uh, screenshots too. I might still have them around somewhere of all my old times. I used to post them to YouTube and stuff. Or Twitter, I mean. I have to... Eventually, I'm going to play that game. It's going to be more of a casual run when I do it. But I'm going to show you all the cool secrets that I used to do at, like, my peak. But, um, here's AM2R, another Metro 2 remake. The best Metro reference is the baby. <laughs> all right. Alright, that's normal. My jump doesn't feel normal, though. I don't like that. Options. <laughs> I honestly, I'll probably end up speedrunning it eventually regardless. Because once I pick that game up, I'm going to get really into it again. There we go. Done. 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 And then resume. Alright, so this is the best way. I used to do L trigger for aiming and then R trigger for shooting, and it helps a lot. Oh, uh, that's that's just a crawl. It'll be accidental muscle memory. AM2R. Uh a lot of people ended up. Uh, there was a big debate on which was actually better, AM2R or the actual uh, remake that Nintendo made of Metroid 2. Till this day, I still prefer this. This is a much better game, in my opinion. Because Metroid 2 on the 3DS kind of, uh, it loses some of the charm that the original game is supposed to have. Oh, really? Oh, dude, that sounds so cool. Oh, I have to see some of that. Uh, I haven't played AM2R in a very long time, so I will definitely not have a very good idea of where I'm going. And I'm definitely not going to beat it. I'm probably just going to play it for a half hour or so. But I really want the show's off because I genuinely do love this game. Oh, dude, I'll try to be there then. That's really cool. Um, But yeah, there was a big debate on whether AM2R or Metroid 2 Return of Samus on the 3DS was better. And I don't, I'm not a big fan of the one on 3DS, solely because there's, like, gates that, like, block you from going to certain areas. Like, for example, I couldn't continue in this area if there was, like, a gate blocking me, essentially. Here it's lava, but the lava makes sense. Like, if I go in the lava, I start to take damage, and that makes a lot more sense. But, um, they don't even have lava at certain parts. It's just straight-up gates blocking you to standard parts that you could access originally in the Game Boy original. It was a better Metroid remake, yeah. Yeah, Nintendo was not happy about that at all. Alright, let's go down here. One cool feature this game has is on little ledges like this. You just uh, can auto-grab them and climb right up. Wall jumping still exists, too. To a capacity. Uh, let's see, where are we going? 
But yeah, this game is really cool. This is uh, this and Metroid, Super Metroid are like the two I love the most. I I don't care. I count this as a Metroid game. <laughs> if I ever did like a Metroid marathon, I would be playing this. This is uh, AM2R. This is another Metroid 2 remake. You probably know uh, about it because Nintendo wanted to decide to DMCA it back in the day because they were making their own Metroid remake of Metroid 2. And that version ended up being shit. Uh, it stands for another Metroid 2 remake. But it is it is by far the best Metroid 2 remake. ASMR. Yeah, it's a Samus. A Didn't you know the S in ASMR stands for Samus? Oh, first boss. Yeah, these things. There's quite the amount of these throughout the game. And you have to shoot them with your missiles, if I remember correctly. There you go. There, these things are like, okay. So you have to kill these little baby, like, just larva Metroids that just hatched throughout the game. And how these work, I think the best way to compare is like in Luigi's Mansion, how you catch multiple boos. There are tons of these in this game. Audio Samus something something, yeah. Okay, so now Lava went down. We can go back to that other area. But the purpose of Metroid 2 is to kill all these little baby Metroids. And as you get through the game, you fight more bosses, whatever, and... But it's, it's a standard Metroid game. But honestly, it's a big upgrade comparing it to the Game Boy. Because this was originally a Game Boy game that they upgrade it into widescreen. And just, God, it has so many features that are so nice. So many quality of life changes to the original. And Nintendo was pissed because they had their own version in the works of a Metroid 2 remake. But their version ended up being much too, uh, much too hand-holdy. It would, like, block off certain areas you could not go to until you com specifically completed one part of the game. It destroyed the non-linearity that Metroid games are supposed to have. It was really lame. It didn't even give, like, a, an option of if you want to have that or not. It was just like, no. Here's our hand-holdy game. Oh, you can't go here yet because we made a fucking gate. So, there you go. It, it was really bad. I did not like it. This is a much, much, much better game. There's also a, much more, a lot more love put into this, I feel. Just from sprite animation and whatnot. That game decided to go with a 3D model route, the Nintendo 3DS version. And, again, not that great. Ow. Bow, 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 bow. I'm on... There we go. Ew. Yeah, so for example here, the only way Metroid 2 originally, like, keeps you in line from linearity is you know that those lava areas will eventually go down and you can get more. You There's more area to explore, but you can't go there at the time. That's the only difference. Nintendo would literally put up, like, gates. Like, there'd be a gate right here and be like, Oh, you can't pass until you do this. Which kind of destroys the immersion of this place being an abandoned, like, you know, planet. We haven't got any upgrades yet. But we'll get there. The whole point of Metroid is to get upgrades after all and get stronger. I like that these little enemies kind of look like Samus's ship. Or is it just me who sees that? Oh. We'll go down. They do, right? It's so weird. We don't need to save. We're gamers. There's probably another one over here. Oh, yeah. He's close. We need the Morph Ball. Which we do not have. See, at least that tells me... I can't go that way. So we have to go up. And there's most likely a morph ball up here. Again, I haven't played this game in a very long time. I might have speed run Super Metroid, but that doesn't mean I remember this game as well. <laughs> I 
I always, uh... I always want to play the original Metroid. Can you wall jump? Yeah, you can. Okay. But... I played Zero Mission, and I actually didn't like it very much. I don't know why. But I heard there is a there is a ROM hack that puts Metroid Zero Mission's, like, level design, and, like, the original NES Metroid in general, into uh, Super Metroid's engine. I might like that. I didn't care for the screen crunch in Zero Mission. That was my only thing. Yeah, I remember that. That was, like... Dude, what the fuck? That was... That's like... that. That's that scummy company shit I'm talking about. I feel like Sega's the only company that like actually doesn't really give a shit. That was ironic. Sega just doesn't fucking care for some reason. So many Sonic fan games come out and they just like... They don't care. What are you, what are you doing, little friend? Yep, smart bomb. I figured. That means a smart bomb area is close. Yeah, it's gotta be in here then. Yeah, I feel like Sega knows if they told fans they couldn't make Sonic game fan games, they'd be like, Fuck you, we can't! <laughs> you know? Like, they know they've already fucked up so much. Oh, here's a smart bomb. Nice. Let's get some extra missiles. Hold up. <laughs> you guys go have fun. Yeah, that, that's basically how Sega feels. Like, they're like, what can we honestly say? Like, we fucked up so hard. Dude, did you hear? Um, People are saying there's going to be a, a Saturn Mini coming out. A Sega Saturn Mini. And funny enough, I was just streaming Sonic Extreme last night. The rumors are is that... Uh, the Saturn Mini will have the whatever remnants of Sonic Extreme that exist on it. Which I think is kind of crazy. And a much more playable form, they said. That's the rumors. And if that ends up being true, that's kind of crazy. Yeah? Saturn Mini. I was like, what? Saturn Mini in itself would be kind of cool. But the fact that we might get Sonic Extreme... In, in, like, a much more playable capacity? That's even... Like, they're saying a fully playable form. I want a Dreamcast Mini, dude. Get some easy... Dude, the Dreamcast has so many good games on it. That would actually be insane. Oh, wait. Hold up. The, the eggs this way. Dude, the Dreamcast Mini. Not only do you get Adventure 1 and 2, but you get, like... God, you get Choo Choo Rocket. You get uh, the Panzer Dragoon games. Shenmue 1 and 2. Spider Ball! Yeah. Crazy Taxi? Exactly, dude. God, it would actually be so cool. Like, undoubtedly, the Dreamcast Mini would be sick. Oh, and then think of this. Dude. Okay, hear me out, right? What if for third-party titles, they end up getting Marvel 2? Because remember how Marvel 2, back in the day, the best way to play it outside of arcades was on the Dreamcast? What if they What if they end up getting that fucking happening on that shit? And it's like, you can't say it's unrealistic, because Marvel vs. Capcom happened on like one of those arcade machines. That was the best way back in the day to play Marvel 2. If they got Marvel 2 as an exclusive for that... Let's try to bomb jump up here. <laughs> Dude, FGC, everybody would own a Dreamcast fucking Mini. <laughs> like, legit. Everybody be buying a fucking Dreamcast Mini for that shit. That'd be so cool. Oh, here he is. Come on, dickhead. 
Come on, dick. Bitch! And in my house. Okay, that's another one done. Let's go find another baby Metroid. This isn't like, I feel like this game is a very good chill game. Does that make any sense? I feel like Metroid is a very chill game to just play and talk. Let's just bomb jump. Let's just bomb jump all the way there. The official version. Dude, the version of Sonic 06 that we saw in the trailers back in the day. That would be fucking nice. That version we saw in the trailers back in the day was kind of crazy. Because it looked like a totally different game than what we got. It looked so immensely promising. Yeah, it's super just chill. I feel really relaxed playing this. I forget which way I had to go earlier, though. Let's just go this way. No. Oh, spider ball. Spider ball. Uh-oh. A spider ball somewhere, all right. Oh, shit. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that's true. The E3 demo does exist. It, it it exists in a capacity that you can get. Oh, that's how it got there. Sega needs to acknowledge 06 eventually. It's true. I really want to replay Unleashed on PC, though. I'm not going to lie. I, I wouldn't mind replaying 06 on PC, too, because I know... Like, I know the modding community could do so much for 06, you know? Uh, let's see, how am I going to do this? I think the best way... Yeah, I heard of that shit. Single-handedly was working on fixing 06. I heard of that shit, dude. That's insane. 06 may actually become the game it was supposed to be. <laughs> oh my god, another missile. Another missile. Oh. I don't think we can get in there yet. This seems really finicky on this controller, though. Switching back and forth between... I don't know why. Let's see this. There must be something in the options that I can fix, right? It's just really finicky. It's fine. I mean, 06 has a lot of concepts that are alright. You know, it's just poorly executed. I think that's the problem. Like, I for one actually really enjoyed Shadow's story. I thought Shadow had a really good story arc in that game. I think Shadow was like the one factor I can remember in 06 and be like, yeah, I really enjoyed his story. Charge beam. Oh, now it's time. We've got the gamer beam. Chaos control! I, I, I love the... He went through this whole arc, you know, where he was trying to find himself and remember who he was and his past and whatever and heroes and Child of the Hedgehog. But then in 06, he's over all that, right? And that's what I love about it, because it shows, like, life for Shadow after he 
find gets his like quote unquote redemption arc where he remembers his past and whatnot and that's what i like about it because at that point it's not about him anymore it's just about what the fuck's happening around him and when things are just happening around shadow i just really like him as a character i think he's insanely entertaining He's the type of character I would like to see a sequel game for if it wasn't about, like, him finding his past. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It absolutely was. The branching stories and whatever. It really does feel like it. The only story, the only thing gameplay-wise I think would need a little bit of fixing, and not, I mean, I mean, you know, not that there's anything conceptually wrong with it, because I think it's it's kind of fun, uh, Silver. I think it's just, like, level design-wise, I think there just need to be a little bit of fixing. Nope. It's still a mystery on who the new Sonic will be. Uh, uh, I'm hoping for uh, Johnny Young Bosch. That'd be nice. Johnny Young Bosch would make a very nice Sonic in modern day. Oh. Yeah, that's that's part of the problem with Silver. Johnny Young Bosch would be an awesome Sonic. I would love to have him as Sonic. Dude, look, you could just you just spew bombs everywhere. That's so raw. Power Ranger anime hero. Dude, him hit Nero from Devil May Cry is like to be like what I'd want to see from him as Sonic. I I think it would fit so well. How do we get up here? I have to look at this. Hold up. Nope. Alright, we're gonna have to come back. Morph ball. Just gonna roll on the ground for a bit. Is this where we were earlier? Yeah, it is. But I think there's areas we can investigate now that we couldn't before, right? Yep. Oh yeah, there was a Met baby Metroid up here. We couldn't get to him, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it is something when you think about it. Uh, okay, I see where we can go. I see where the baby is. That bastard. Johnny always get the cosign from me. <laughs> Facts, dude. I love that dude. Have you ever seen, uh, his, his, uh... His uh, performance as Lelouch also in Code Geass. It's really fucking sick. That dude kills that role. We're gonna have to go this way, aren't we? We're gonna have to roll around. I heard Code Geass. We're talking about Johnny Ohm Bosch. On how, and how he should be the new Sonic. Don't you agree? I think Johnny Young Bosch needs to be the next Sonic. He's a Power Ranger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's a, He was the Power Ranger growing up, too. Yeah, he was the Power Ranger, I remember. He was literally the Blue Ranger, right? Yeah. Or something like that. Oh, not blue. Wasn't he, like... I felt like he was, uh... Wasn't he, like, the White Ranger or something? Black green, okay. Yeah, the Black Ranger. 
where is this other you know we saw like a baby cocoon earlier maybe there's a secret in here there's a secret brew and There's only one white ranger, and that's Tommy. Uh, oh, it's gotta be down here. I figured you out, game. No, oh, never mind. I'm fucking. Oh, oh, oh. Um, here, you know what? Imagine Tommy becoming a Sonic character. Tommy's the new Knuckles. He's the real life shadow. <laughs> Can I? Oh, there we go. There's the tech I was looking for. Anything is possible if you believe. Yeah, dude, he could be he could be Shadow. No! Oh, we were doing so well. There we go. We got that sticky strat. Alright, let's go this way. Yeah, you know, he's not bad. I mean, he got memed on really hard when he did Song Generations, and his, like, single line was, You got this, Senek. But he's come a long way, I think. You fucking asshole. Okay, that's good. Oh, wait. No, up. There was a crack in the floor. I saw it. That can only mean one thing. No? Exactly. He did good in the, uh, the Infinite DLC. The Shadow DLC, where he, like, fought Infinite and stuff. I thought he was pretty good, actually. He just hasn't, like you said, he hasn't been able to, like, really get into the role outside of that. Oh, we're getting chased. <laughs> he did, yeah. Yeah, he did. He absolutely did. Then he called him weak, and then he was like, I am not weak! It's like the most memed on thing about, um, about Infinite is his whole, like, arc where he was like, he was so angsty just because Shadow called him weak. Mom, Shadow called me weak. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, dude, and then he becomes, like, all edgy because of it. He's like, ooh, you called me weak. Like, dude, fucking get over it, bro. Dude, you know what? He called me a... He called me dead weight. Metroid. 
There's a Metroid among us. I knew it. Piece of shit. Dick. Wait till they see Narrow in five. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, that was Narrow had a moment. The ultimate edge lord. One of my favorite scenes from that game. Like Dante really just fuck it. I mean Dante always like really makes the Devil May Cry games for most people. But I really love the one scene where he goes to fight Virgil and he takes the fucking rocket launcher and he's like, okay, gonna go fight douchebag. Like, I don't know why, but that shit, like till this day, I think of that cutscene. It was so good. Dante casually picking up rocket launcher. Just fucking saying he's gonna go fight <laughs> Virgil the douchebag. Uh... Oh god, is there, ba is there a baby over here too? <laughs> yeah. Too edgy. Dude. Come on. Stop it. This baby's bad. This baby! This baby's being a little fucking... Shithead. Oh, we're dead. He doesn't have a son. That's him. He's a little ed. Fucking Virgil, dude. <laughs> fucking Virgil. Dude legit takes his fucking arm and then it's just like, wow. Fucking Virgil's dad of the year, you know? Alright, you fucking... <laughs> yeah, really. That is a really awkward... I would feel awkward in that meeting. Oh, I'm gonna die again. I'm really good at Metroid, guys. You guys worshipped him and he took my arm. God. What a what a fucking guy Virgil is. Just do this. Fuck actually doing it legit. Treat him nicely, he's just shy. <laughs> Bitch, Dude, you got fucking gamed on, bro. Judgment nut. Alright, now we roll back. Actually, I think we're better off just platforming back. <laughs> this is much faster. Ow. <laughs> Later! Fuck! 
Fuck! Yeah, Dante. Yeah, Dante respects women, exactly. That's how you know. That's how you can love Dante. That man respects women. Virgil does not respect women. Listen, Dante just tries his best. Can we really ask much out, much outside of that from the guy? You know, he does his damnness. That's what matters. All right, I gotta, I know what to do. Fill your dark soul with light. <laughs> God, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh dude, DMC session be kinda sick. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, that'd be really fun. I have to buy the games on Steam. I, I like absolutely have to buy the games on Steam. That'd be the best way, easiest way for me to play him. Ah, oh, two doesn't exist. What do you mean? It goes one, three, four, and then five. Dude, this two just bullshit a bit. Yeah, it was a really boring game. It's like, really bad. <laughs> the game cucked you. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't doubt it with that game. Nothing surprises me with that game. Let's just go this way and save. Uh, we'll get the extra... We'll get two more Metroids, and then... Uh, we'll go to the next area, look at that, and then we'll go to the next thing. I feel like we've played a lot of Metroid, so... Just like Virgil cut narrow. Father of the year, bro. Father of the year. All right, and he'll be right about here. The fun thing is, as I notice, is that he touches this bottom platform so much that you can just take advantage of the fact that he always swoops down and touches it. It's really funny. It's a major BM, but hey, whatever works. Oh, you're going to bed, Black? All right. Thanks for joining onto the stream, bro. I had a good time. Thank you for coming in, just vibing, you know? Sounds like the speedrunner logic. <laughs> yeah, you always take... Speedrunners always take advantage of uh, whatever the game throws at them, so... There's a part in uh, Super Metroid I'd love to show you where you can quite literally... Uh, there's, like, this little pole at one point... And all you do is point upward, you face it just like this, you jump up and you hit it at a certain angle, and you can skip like a good, uh, a literally a good 20 seconds of the, or a good 20 minutes of the game because of it. It's really funny. 
I'll show it when I play that game. It's really... And it's like... But the best part... It's not anything important you miss. It's like really just a bunch of exposition that doesn't matter. You know? Like extra missiles and stuff. But you gotta go there for one specific thing. And it doesn't really matter. Because you could beat the game without it with no problem. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's gonna be funny. Game over. Game over. Alright. Later, Black. Uh, I know track to that guy, so you know what? At this point, we'll just save him for last. Fuck him. I'd rather get these guys out of the way. The more annoying ones. But I saved after the one, so we don't gotta go back to him, thankfully. We do, however, have to go to this guy. So let's get take care of him. <sighs> He's kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah. She can only hit them in their butts. Okay, it's bad. You cannot fight him down there. Dick. Alright, good enough. Good enough. Good enough, good sir. Good enough. Alright. Whoosh. Oh, fuck. Okay. And then this guy is so easy. He's got such a dumb pattern. He's <laughs> such a dumb pattern. Like, I swear. Da da da. Then he does that. Then he does it again. Then, oh, sometimes he does it more than once. Boom. And that is officially zero Metroids left for this area to clear it. So now the lava will lower. Let's look at the map. Okay. Uh, our best bet. Yep. We can go down now. Again, I'm going to get come back to this game eventually and do a full playthrough of it. Just, this is more of a, you know, just a casual stream. Just to show it off, because I really think it's a very good game. And I think a lot of people, uh, if they're going to have a first Metroid and it's not Super Metroid, I really highly recommend this one. I can't express how good it is. It's just a very well, good, well thought out game. And it's a fan game, but, you know, it's a fan game with so much love put into it. Oh, oh, oh good. Boss fight. Damn it! Uh, Alright. Uh, that's fine. We can call it there. Uh, that boss fight, it's not necessarily too hard, but it gets, uh, the place gets, it gets thinner and thinner as it goes. But yeah, that's AM2R. I think it's a game that I really heavily recommend to people who have never played a Metroid game before. It's really fun and really well worth it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Wow, 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 wow.
I have more games, don't worry. I'll have more video games to show. Uh huh. Alright, let's do... We'll do this one really quick. This will be a really quick one, and then we'll get to the final thing of the game. The final part of the stream. I have two more things to show off, and then we're done. Aw, thank you. Thank you for still being here. I appreciate it. We're, we're close to getting done for the night. Let's, uh... Let's show this off now. Oh wow, look at that. It's so smart. Gamer capture always captures the game. It's not capturing the whole game though. <laughs> Close! Hi, Dawson. We're playing Shin Zelda, which is a ROM hack of Zelda 1 where you play as Zelda instead of Link. Fairly awake. I didn't even saw if you... Did you comment it earlier in the stream, Dawson? I'm sorry. I didn't even, like... I knew you were in Lil's stream earlier. Oh, okay. That's why when you said you were back, I was so confused. I was like, wait. There we go. That's good enough. Uh, Shin Zelda. It's a ROM hack where you play as Zelda. It's a ROM hack of Zelda 1. Uh, what is our name going to be? Uh, somebody give us a name. Pick a name for, for our protagonist. Come on, guys. I know. I, I believe in you. What should we name her? All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna think of something in a minute. Pog. Okay, we're gonna name her Pog. <laughs> Pog. Pog. Oh, wow, you start in a really weird spot. Okay, so you don't start with a sword as expected. Link was captured. Here, take this sword. Alright, here's our sword. Now, I've heard people say this is the best Zelda 1 ROM hack ever. So, big expectations. I heard the level design is just very well done. So, we're going to find out. We're going to play just like 20 minutes of this or so. Don't forget this. Oh, good. I, oh, yep. I'll remember. I'll definitely remember that. Hey. Oh, crap. What the fuck? These are enemies? Password. All right. Oh, cool. Found a dungeon that quickly, I guess. 
Oh no, that's not a dungeon. What the fuck? It's a secret to everybody. Thanks. Thanks for the 10 rupees, friend. Ow. Oh, I'm already dying. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> ah! Not good. Continue. Yeah, I'd like to continue. Alright, we're already doing fantastically. We're just gonna go left for a while. So yeah, there's not much to say about this aside from the fact that it is indeed a Zelda 1 ROM hack. You play a Zelda? It, it seems cool. That mean, that also means Link will not make an appearance in Fan Hack February this year. But Zelda will. So, close enough. Oh, dude. Don't worry, I can out- I can out-time you. Give me this money. Give me this money! Alright, cool. Come on, give me- I just want to get to a dungeon. I thought this was Karen! <laughs> yeah, dude, that's who it is. See, I, I- I mean, I could start randomly bombing things, like, in good old Zelda 1 fashion, but, like... This isn't the original game, so I don't know what the fuck to actually, like, what walls to bomb and stuff, so... God. Okay. Just get out of my way. Is that a dungeon, I hope? Oh, tech tights. Dungeon. Yes! This is all I wanted to do. I wanted to get to a dungeon. This here's the real meat of an adventure. Okay. Let's see. I presume the bosses are the exact same. I also know that this game has a weird campaign. It was made in, like, 2004. There's, like, a weird campaign in it where it says, like, Don't Vote for Bush 2004. And it's really funny, like, looking back on it. Because it's definitely a time capsule. Mario Counts Animals. Hi, Lil! Mario Counts Animals. We all also have Donkey Metroid Country Adventures. We're playing, we're playing, uh, Shin Zelda. It's Zelda 1, but what if you played a Zelda and the game was totally different? Lil! Thank you for the follow, Lil. Does it even pop? Did it pop up? No, just Okayu's in the back. Show up, Okayu. Okay. Okayu got cocked. Poor Okayu. Usually, when you do follow, you get this. You get... Wait, why isn't she showing up? Come on, Okayu. There she is. Yeah. That's what you get when you follow. She just pops up. Oh, Stalfos. This one's got rupees. Okay, I assume I've got to push one of these blocks somewhere. Aha! I am a gamer. Oh, fuck me. It's okay. No, it's fine, Lil. It's okay. Oh my god, no! Not good. I listen, I appreciate it regardless. What I don't appreciate is me getting ass pounded by these guys. Okay. What's the map showing us? We've got to get back to that room. Okay. See, at least I can oppress them with my sword beam. Fuck, no, now I can't. Oh, now I can. Let's see. We are here. We want to go this way. I think this is where we were earlier with all the lit. Yeah, all the snake guys. Whoa! 
Get the fuck away! <laughs> this is the remake of the Wand of Gamelon. Yep, this is it. How'd you know? We're, we have to save Link. Oh. Okay, now I think it was this one, right? Yeah. Look at that. Sometimes I have a brain. God, I, I have, like, no health. This is probably, like, not even the first dungeon. <laughs> I just found it and I went in. Oh, Lil, if you stick around, I'm gonna show you Kirby after this. I have a Kirby game. It's the only Kirby game I could find. Because apparently people don't make Kirby fan games. I don't know why. There should be more. He deserves them. He's a good boy. Oh no. Oh! 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 Oh my god! <sighs> Fucker! Die! Oh! I really just need health. Hold up, guys. I found an idea. I thought of an idea. Can I not? Hold up. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do something. All right. I'll just create a save state. It's because you can't improve upon perfection. <laughs> Fuck! Yeah, good thing we made the save state. We got we literally went in here and ate shit instantly. Hold on, I'm gonna get them in a group again. Yeah. There we go. No Lil, don't get sick by eating too much pizza. You need to live. The f oh, I got food. I got food for the hungry guy. Don't get sick, Lil. We need you. Oh my god, nine viewers. Lil, you you really brought- There it is! I brought it! I found it! Mode against Bush 2004! We beat the game! Oh! Oh my god, I didn't even know this was the room. <laughs> Vote against Bush 2004. We found the room. Oh god, he's attacking us. <laughs> that's a secret room in this game. I, 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 I that's the only thing I knew about this game was that they had a weird campaign, anti-campaign against George Bush because it came out in 2004. And then I actually ended up finding the fucking room. We had, we went to the exact area we had to go. The exact fucking dungeon. Oh god, Grumble Grumble, no! I don't want to hit Grumble Grumble. I want to give Grumble Grumble his meat. Come here, Grumble Grumble. Take your meat. Acquired the pizza. Oh, Lil, you want to see? Lil didn't get the pizza, get to see? Okay, wait, Lil, I got something to show you. You want to see something really good in this game? Did you know there's an anti ad? There's an anti uh, voting campaign from 2004 when this game came out. Are you ready? Vote against Bush, 2004. Why is this here? I don't know, but it is. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, the Wand of Gamelon remake's looking pretty crazy. It's even got political shit in it. Alright, let's give Grumble Grumble his, his food. Come here, Grumble Grumble. Eat your meat. Oh my god, he's dead. Oh, look at that! I knew exactly where to put the bomb. Oh, fuck. I'm safe stating here. I'm scared. I think I safe stated in, like, the worst spot possible. 
I'm not trying, I'm succeeding. <sighs> Just give me that fairy! Get through the door, get through the door! Okay, not bad. Wait. Oh, I gotta push one of these. Ow! Okay, that wasn't a good idea. Aha! Is this where the boss is? <gasps> the Dongo! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, dude. This is the Dongo. He, he wants our ass. Oh, shit. Can I not get in here until I beat him? Here, eat this. Fucker! You got the voting papers! Zelda's going! Zelda- <laughs> I can't! Fuck, I enlarged the screen and I don't know how to fix it! Oh, F11. That's not F11. Where's F11? Zelda's going to the polls, baby. We're getting Bush out of office. What if Ganon was possessed by George W. Bush this whole time? Oh my god. Okay, one of you's gotta drop a heart. Come on, somebody has to have a fucking heart! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, thank you. So fucking generous. One heart. A singular heart. Thank you, game. Alright. Now I know we have to push this one up. Now, I don't know... If I have to defeat the Dongo or not. The Dongo can walk wherever he wants. Look at him. Oh, I think he's... He's he stuck. The Dongo, are you okay? He, I think he's stuck. He can't leave. Can I, I can't even put any bombs in here. I just gotta start blowing up every wall. No! The Dongo! Ow, you fucking asshole! Hey, fuck you, Dongo. The dickhead. I'm gonna get you out of there. Well, we got him out of there. He just fucking died for it. This is just like the Mel Gear Solid 5 demo. <laughs> Wait, where the fuck are we supposed to go? Oh, don't tell me we need bombs and we don't have any. Okay. No, 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 no. There's gotta be a way to just open this door back up that I'm missing. Now the Dongo's dead, anything's possible, right? Come on, the dongo. Aha! Look at that. Okay. Whoa, make the run. Those enemies don't respawn. See, we need a bomb. We need explosive devices. Aha! Yeah, we're gonna save. Good thought, good thought, good thought. That was a frame perfect fucking thing right there. Okay, let's look. Uh, okay, so here's the plan. I know where to go. Gonna go up. 
We're gonna go up. Oh, the snakes! I forgot about them. Alright, now we can't lose to the snakes. Watch this. Oh my god, they just ate my asshole. Why did it- what did I do to deserve this bush? Oh, I actually just walked into him. My fear. My fear! I was waiting for him to charge at me and he never did. You motherfucker. Okay. Can't fuck this up again. That's right, fuck face. Come here. Mmm. 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 That's right! Tie these motherfucking stakes in this motherfucking dungeon. Vote against Bush 2004. Mm. There's gotta be something we have to do in the Bush room. Is there nothing to do in the Bush room? Are you fucking kidding me? And fuck you. Alright, well, we can confirm there's nothing we can do in the Bush room. <laughs> okay, therefore, we have to do something probably in this room over here. It's got to be an explosive wall. Yeah, like right around here. No, what? I'm so confused. Where? Next one? Okay. Okay, I believe in you, Lil. Oh, uh, oh! Oh, fuck, I ran out of bombs. Okay, reset. I can't believe there's nothing to do in the bush room. There's nothing in any of these rooms to do. Is there a... What about this wall? Are you... Like... I can't believe this. Can't believe you've done this. There's no way there's anything else in these rooms, is there? Nothing in Bush Room. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I can keep these fuckers at a distance, we're okay. But if you need the candle to burn the bush, man, that's very true. Okay. Uh, how about this wall? That wasn't a good placement. Fuck. This is so, like, what do I do? What is my life? Where is my place in life? Yeah, save in this room. Bro, do maps of this game even exist? Is there maps for the fucking Shin Zelda on the internet? Is this how the kids in the 90s felt? <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! I need to know. Fuck! Who knew that level female symbol was going to be so hard? Oh, oh. come on. Fuck! 
Fuck me. Okay. No, no, no. I'm just crazy. There's like something I'm missing. I think I've blown up every possible fucking wall. How do we get to these other rooms? Oh. See, the thing is, once uh in the slidey room, which slidey room? Hold up, the one before the this one. I don't know. Blocks usually just stay in place after you push them in the, this game, which is the problem. Unless there's like... Ow. I think I can... I have like one idea. So we're gonna just walk all the way back. Or die and just reset like this. My idea is to go to the bottom left of the map. It's all I can think of at this point. Right? Just go... Because see, it doesn't have anything connecting to it. Oh, bomb the wall after you push the block. Alright, if this doesn't work, we're gonna go try that. Because that's all I could possibly think of. I'm kind of surprised there isn't anything in this room. Usually the bomb radius is fair forgiving, so... The only thing I can think of is, aside from that, we're gonna try that. That'll be our last resort. Maybe there's something... Maybe I have to bomb these sides. Here, let's try your idea. Let's just get these guys out of the way. Please leave. Ow. God damn it. Why is this rupee in the corner is what I want to know. I feel like that rupee would be implying something, but it's just not. Uh, the only other place I can possibly think of. Maybe over here. It's so weird. Maybe we have to kill the bush guy. You think we have to kill Bush Guy? <laughs> Maybe murder was the answer all along. Alright, I'm like, literally running out of options at this point. Maybe this is a pro Bush game all along! <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? What, what do you do? I'm gonna bomb all these walls. Okay, I see nothing. I don't understand. All we have left is the bush room. The bush room is the only place that there could be any kind of an answer. Vote Bush 2004. What if Vote Bush 2004 isn't just a campaign? What if it's a what if it's a riddle that we need to solve? Oh, oh. 
I don't think we're supposed to kill him. Oh, God. All right. Well, I have no idea what to do. So, I'm thinking... Who wants to go to the next game? <laughs> who wants to go to Kirby? It's our only option. We have to kill him. I have one more idea. This is it. Okay, one more. One more idea. This is all I have left. See how the top right is still, like, blinking red? I think it's trying to tell us something from that room. I think... I think our secret lies within here. Somewhere. Somehow. Was Dodongo the boss and we just beat him? We didn't even get a Triforce piece, right? Or was there just no Triforce pieces in this game to begin with? Usually, you know, it would like give you some significance like, you know, oh, you beat the boss, good job, you know? Okay, we have to leave the dungeon real quick. I need to see if because sometimes the dungeon is split in half, right? Like, we got the piece we needed, so now we go to the second uh, portion of the dungeon outside. We have to test this. My curiosity is just killing me to find out. Yeah, so maybe... Maybe the dungeon... Maybe it's out here somewhere. Okay, that's not that. No, I'm telling you. I'm not crazy, guys. Where's water? We just need to find water. Once we find water, I'll prove I'm not crazy. Water. Water! Look at this. What's in here? Nothing. Okay, don't worry. That's fine. Okay, guys, I think it's a lost cause. <laughs> I think... I think killing the Dongo is the peak. I'm gonna... F Everybody thought I was crazy, but look. Look at me now. Ow, God! Oh, 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 oh. I'm dying a hero, at least. Zelda might not save Link, but we're gonna die a hero. Oh my god. Alright, what's in this room? Just show me what's in this room, and then I'll die willingly. Another one of these fucking guys. Alright, well. Kill me. But look at the gamer instincts. <laughs> okay. We got one more game for the night. One more game. This is gonna be uh this is gonna be worth it, I promise. Where is it? Here it is. Oh boy, this is gonna be pretty this is gonna be sick. Come on. Load the game. It says it's working on it. That means it's really working. It's really working hard. Ow. Where's the game? Okay, I see. Oh, dude, this already looks really cool. Let me tell you guys. You could be like, wow. Kirby. I know that fucking guy. You're gonna blow your minds. Let me tell you. There he is! Kirby's Dreamland Advance. It's a remake of Kirby's Adventure, but with the Game Boy Advance engine. So you know it's gotta be good.
But every time I press a button, you get bit crunched, Poyo. <laughs> Please. That's what we need in life. How tiny can I make the fan hack February sign? Look at that. It's so small. Wouldn't even know it's there. Where's my Kirby Tamagotchi? Alright. Kirby's Dreamland Advance. It's Kirby's Dreamland. But what if Kirby got a remake of his original game? On the Game Boy Advance. Okay, I need to... Okay, hold up. I know what to do. We're gonna need a little bit of help from x Patter real quick, I think. <laughs> the Poyo's pace boosted. Oh, God. That sounds horrifying. Oh, are you ready here? You get to hear the. I get to hear. You get to hear the Poyo. Oh, he didn't Poyo that time. He just said hi. <laughs> Controls. Okay, I can't. Okay, so here's here's the plan, guys. I have this little friend. His name is uh. His name is X Patter. And he'll just, he'll just put all the controls onto my controller. He's a good friend because he just does the job for me when I want to play video games that require a mouse. I mean, or a keyboard. Let's see, left, up, right, down. And then, oh no, wait, that was supposed to be D-pad. Hold up. Uh-oh, I made a poopy. Man, what a cool guy. That's what I'm saying. Up, down, left, right. Buttons. Almost as cool of a guy as Zun. Exactly. Nobody can be as cool as Zun. He's such a cool guy. Okay, let's see. Jump is Z. X is attack. And then pause is enter. So. Look at that. Alright. X Patter's currently doing his job. That makes it, yeah, that messes up. It messes up for you guys. It's nicer for me, but it's not so nice for you guys unless I play with it. So I can deal with this. I probably have to make the screen a little smaller. So this is fine. New game. Okay, guys, it's it's Kirby's Dreamland, but remade. This is this is a fan game. This is something somebody did. Wait a minute. I don't think X-Patter's doing his job. X-Patter, what are you doing? X-Patter. X-Patter's being a weaning. Okay, there we go. Alright, so far so good. This is Kirby. Oh, that's right. Since this is the original Kirby game, there's no copy abilities. We simply suck and cuck. Classic Kirby, where Kirby did not have copy abilities. Good times. God, I almost forgot about that. Alright, it wasn't until Kirby's Adventure on the NES where they actually gave Kirby the ability of copy abilities. Alright, it's a Poppy Bros. Okay. The sucking sound effect seems to be from um, Kirby Squeak Squad, though, I think. Sounds like it. Come on. Throw your bomb. Ugh. Bitch. Oh, wow. The stage just happens immediately after. All right. Ugh. Okay. 
Yeah, so this is, I mean, this is really impressive. Control's very nice. Control's exactly how you'd want a Kirby game to control. Almost, actually, maybe even a little better than you'd expect from a Kirby game. Kirby feels nice and fluid. Where Kirby brutally beat the chef every in Dreamland. Yeah, dude. Because DDD took the food. How could he? The fucking asshole. Here's these little cappies. They kind of look like gyroids from Animal Crossing. God, I can't wait to start playing the Kirby series again. Kieran was right, Lil. We need to do that. Oh, <gasps> here he comes! Bips, beeps, buds! Ow. You fuck. Shoot your apples. Even the, uh, even the boss bar. They actually have a boss bar. In the original game, there is no boss bar. Boom, boom. Come on. Apple. Apple. Oh, he's coughing. Come on. Nice. Alright, and that's the first level done. Dude, I would be so hyped to play a Kirby game with you. That would be so fun. Oh, Castle Low Low Low. Man's going through PTSD of the first games. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You can't use it like that. So, microphone exists in the original Kirby game, but you can't, like, eat it and get the copy bill. You actually have to spit it back out immediately. That's how it works in this game. And he quote-unquote ability is you sucking it up and spitting it back out. It's a really weird feature, but that's how it'd be in the original Kirby. I feel like this is much more faithful than uh, Kirby Superstars, quote-unquote remake of Kirby's uh, Dream Land. Because, remember, the first uh, the first game mode in Kirby Superstars is supposed to be a remake of Kirby's Dreamland, but this feels much more faithful, honestly. I really like it. A lot of these ROM hacks, I don't know, like, a lot of these ROM hacks, like, after I play them, I'm not gonna lie, I end up deleting them if I don't really care for them that much. Like, that one Mega Man, what was it, Mega Man Reloaded? Like, I got rid of that shit instantly. But this, I might keep this. This is really cool. Dude, are you 100% in uh, 64? Low, low. Uh, here's low, low, low. Uh, low, low, low is, be uh, is also uh, stars in his own game series called The Adventures of Low, low. And that's not as well known, but yeah, that exists. Oh, here's like the only useful power up in the entire series. Or not entire series, the this game. Spicy curry. You know that brawl? Fucking... You remember that item that brawl introduced? Yeah, spicy curry. It's from this game. This was Kirby's only, like, relevant power-up in the original game. You just spam this, and it runs out over time. Damn. YouTube been keeping updated on the Mario 64 run? What the fuck, man? You ain't gonna let me in on this? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, okay, boss time. Do do. Uh, if you like that one game that came out a while ago, what was it? The one with all the girls and they were like in hell or whatever. What was that called? Hell Taker or some shit? Well, Hell Taker was inspired by the Adventures of Lolo. So if you like that game, you'll like the Adventures of Lolo. There's like five Adventure of Lolo games, so you can't go wrong. Yeah, Helltaker. Okay. <laughs> you talk about it in chat, man. Dawson's just that much of a gamer. Yeah, I never played it, but the girls are cute. Oh, that squid's going. Goodbye, man. Bush, Get out of here. I actually really like the original Kirby's Dream Land. It's very different from the rest of the series, but that's what I like about it. It has a very nice... It has fun replayability. It's definitely one of the Kirby games I go back and play much more often. It's like... Oh, here. 
I can actually show off microphone now, but um, it's up there for me with like Kirby Superstar and like Kirby's uh, Nightmare in Dreamland. Like those are the three I probably play the most. That's right, I'm a gamer. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like the entire aesthetic of Kirby is just, like, a you thing, Lil. Like, it just fits so well. Oh, he's gonna appear somewhere. Oh, you fucker. To be fair, I love Kirby. I was absolutely obsessed with, uh, the Kirby games growing up. And I still have a very fun time with them. Oh, Spicy Curry. Spicy curry works exactly how you'd expect it to. You just mash the B button and you just shoot projectiles. The Kirby... No, 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 no. I was saying, like, I feel like the Kirby series, the aesthetic of the Kirby series is, like, something you would like. That's what I meant. That's a, that's what I meant. It, it probably came out wrong, but that's what I meant. It's so cute. I feel like it's a you thing. Kirby is your aesthetic. Yeah, Lil. I'm thinking you should just only wear Kirby t-shirts from now on. Like, get a Kirby mask for when you go out. Oh, there's also this one. Da -da 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 -da. Kaboom! Or whatever his name is. Kabul? I think it's like Kabul or some shit. Yeah, we're gonna get you a Kirby mask, Lil. So when you go out in public... You can show the world I'm preventing COVID, and I'm styling with Kirby to do so. Yeah, that's much easier than the original version. In a Waluigi outfit! Yo, we used to have a Halloween day in school. Like, literally, um, on Halloween, and we would be able to go to school in Halloween outfits. It was so cool. I went one year as Mario. That was a good time. What do you think? What do I think yours would be, Dawson? It's a good question, Dawson. I do associate you with Mega Man recently. Oh, you had that too? Yeah, it was so cool. So funny because like in middle school and elementary school, they were like, well, elementary school, they allowed it, right? They had like the little parades for us. But then once we reached middle school, it was like, no, you have people have to be adults. You're not allowed to wear costumes to school on Halloween. And then we get to high school and it's like, yeah, why not? Fuck it. Go ahead. Like, it was really weird. Did you ever did you ever have that thing growing up when like every like every portion of school, like when you were in elementary school, you would hear, wait till you get to middle school, it's a lot harder. Then you got to middle school, it was like, wait till you get to uh, high school, it's harder. Then you got to high school, it was like, wait till you get to college, it's harder. And then like you just sat there and you were in college and you're like, wow. This is the fucking best I've ever had in, in school life. Like, college? Okay. College might have been more demanding with work at times, but I loved college the most. It was false for everything but university. Yeah. I loved college. I was just... I was happy. Because the, the extra work and stuff didn't bother me. Like, doing, like, fucking... Doing, like, 20-page essays and shit didn't really bother me. But, like... Because I just got the vibe so much. Every time I think of those, I think of that one kid who was the Doom guy. Oh my god, that's beautiful. I'm totally about to die. These enemies are custom sprites. Yeah, you know how I passed my graphics design class? By playing Toho. I He literally, our teacher never gave us assignments. He would give us assignments and then just be like, six months later, be like, oh, yeah, that right, that's right. That was an assignment I gave you guys. Okay, uh, forget that new assignment. So 90% of the time we played Toho. Uh, another fun thing we did is we literally had 20 kids in the class all doing a Pokemon Red Race at once. It, that was fucking sick. That was a crazy time. Just all these kids playing Pokemon Red at once. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, Krakow is not going to be very fun. 
Or actually, this is Cracko Jr., I'm sorry. You fucker. Oh, you motherfucker. I thought I got hit before him. Alright. Almost. Ow! Oh my god, okay, now we gotta go back and get that. Now I did a total fucky wucky. Nice. Yeah, I feel. Dude, math was my definite weak point growing up. And that was being wide awake. Like, I just... Ooh, I sucked at math. Very badly. God. Lil... I wish you had. I had your brain when it came to math, because I have fucking major duties at math. Bomb, 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 bomb. Oh, fuck. Oh, I've totally shit the bet on that one. I should probably just reset this boss fight, but going with the new health bar, but it's fine. We're gamers. But let's just do it with one with one health. He's going to charge us eventually. He's going to do like a swoop on the ground. I don't know when he plans on doing that. He like swoops under and goes up. He hasn't done it yet. Did they miss like the like one of the most iconic things? Okay. I guess he doesn't have it in this uh, fan version. In this fan game. Usually he's supposed to start like spinning in a circle. And then he like lunges at you. But he goes like underground-ish. He like goes under the stage and flies back up. Yeah, I had some decent math teachers growing up, but it, it's hard, too, when you have, like, one way you hate it, the other way you love it. Yeah, I when I had good math teachers, I had a good time, but when I had bad math teachers, I fucking hated it. My one math teacher was really cool because she would just make brownies, and then we would learn math while eating brownies. And honestly, that was a, that was a good time in my life. Ow. Yeah, I was like a total English nut. I still am, but that's why I love writing so much. Ooh. Yeah, dude. You can teach kids anything with brownies. It's true. Gives the confidence the kids need. The fuck out of here, Wispy. Ow. God, how many times have I just been an absolute fucking meat sack for hits in this game? I'm just taking them. One odd thing is that you can suck something up and still go under these without sucking up, like, eating what's in your mouth. Which is really funny, but really cool. The original game suffers from that. Uh, it it still works, but it's very infrequent. Teach a kid about drugs with brownies legally. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Do you know when I was in health class, how they taught us about like the birthing process? They literally showed us a video from the 70s of a woman giving birth. Like, we saw everything. Until this day, I'm still fucking mortified. Like, Jesus Christ. That was horrifying. I literally had to see everything out in the open. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, it was bad. My health teacher was a fucking bitch. Oh, now he's doing the pattern I was talking about. Dude, she literally... Uh, my favorite thing ever, right? 
was, I'm sure it was the same for you guys, but you only had to pass three marking periods to pass the course for the year. So, like, if you, you know, got, like, A, 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 or even, like, C, 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 and then the final marking period, you got an F, you still passed. The last mark period literally would not matter. So, for me, the final marking period of that year for gym was square dancing, and our health teacher was the same as our, uh, yeah, our health teacher was the same as our gym teacher. So, the final marking period, she's like, oh, I'm going to have you guys do square dancing. And I was like, you know what? I don't think I want to do that. So the entire fucking marking period, I would go to gym class, sit on my ass, and watch Twitch plays Pokemon. One of my other friends, we both did this. And she got so fucking pissed off, she called up my mom. And she was like, do you know, your, you know, your child is purposely not doing, like, square dancing, blah, blah, blah. And my mom was like, okay, well, is he failing? Well, he's failing this mark period. She's like, okay, but does he fail for the year? She's like, no. She's like, oh, well, then I don't care. And she just hung up on her. <laughs> I was like, yo, okay, thanks, mom. Appreciate that, mom. She's like, listen, you're not failing for the year. Who wants to fucking square dance? I don't blame you. Ow, I'm just eating shit. Yeah, my mom was like, fuck, I don't give a fuck. Come on. Give me your little friends. Okay, cool. Krakow's pretty annoying, so I'm happy to get him. And then we've got Kabul. Ow. Um... Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, look at this. Very precise. Now, one difference between the original and this is to get to a boss fight in this, you just have to go through these doors. In the original game, you would actually have to kill another Kirby. There would just be a Kirby. He'd just be, like, dancing casually or whatever. And you'd have to literally, like, suck him up or, like, shoot something at him. And then he'd fucking die. And then you'd be able to proceed. Really weird shit. Oh, the workout room was so cool. Yeah, I remember the workout room days. Easy. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, they actually go pretty fucking hard for this DDD fight. They open the door and everything. So if I just die, do I just go right back to the DDD fight? Okay, yeah. Cool. The King DDD theme will always be really good. Yeah, Sokka is busting seven. Oh, he's trying to do the suck. Only I can do that. Get out of here, sir. Ow, fucker. Ow. He's just going for the dive. Going for the dive again. Going for the pound. Going for the suck. Going for the dive. Going for the pound. And he's... <laughs> he's done. And then the weirdest ending in Kirby history, where he proceeds to fucking inflate himself and just fly away with the entire castle. Weird shit. Oh, there he goes! There he goes, the lad. <laughs> He's the best balloon ever. Oh, good times. That was uh, that was Kirby's Dream Land in advance. Uh, the original Kirby's Dream Land was a really short game as it is. It's like a 30-minute game. So... But to see this little remake was really cute. I actually really enjoyed it, and I think uh, I recommend it.
it feels very nice and it feels like perfectly in line with the Kirby's Adventure remake, Nightmare in Dreamland, uh, and the Kirby Superstar remake, Superstar Ultra. It fits very well. I, I highly recommend it. Oh, he's small again. Yeah, I don't know. Jim was weird. They would, like, actually get really serious about volleyball and shit. It's like, dude, you act like we're fucking professionals. Uh, extra game's not available yet, but when you can press... But you can press right when select a new game on a title screen to play a special mini game. Good luck. Okay, well, let's try the special mini game. We might as well. Okay, so, yeah, the hard mode, quote-unquote, of this game, because, you know, Kirby can only be so hard. <laughs> uh... Apparently, it's not available at this point in time. They're probably still working on it. I want to try it. Flappy Flapper! <gasps> He's Flappy Flapper Bird! Press jump to flap. Try not to hit the blocks and go for the high score. Oh, dude. Okay, I suck at Flappy Birds. Let's try this again. Dude, I don't think I'm very good at Flappy Bird. I'm not going to lie, guys. Fuck! I'm not good at Flappy Flapper. This game... Dude, this game... No, fuck Flap... Dude, fucking... Okay, okay. Are you fucking kidding me? I think six was my high score. What the fuck? Dude, I, I don't understand Flappy Flapper. Flappy Flap- Fuck! 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 Flappy Flapper! I just want to get over my high score, guys. Why can I be good at so many things, but I can't be good at Flappy Flapper? Okay, I'm gonna get really serious. Fuck! <laughs> yes, I- I- oh, I'm trying to, like- Cut in, and it's like really annoying. Ah, oh. dude, it's so annoying. What the fuck, dude? Fuck Flappy Flapper. Okay, hold up. Fuck. Okay. Dude, fuck this game. Y'all actually played Flappy Bird? I've never played Flappy Bird. This is my first experience. Dude, what the fuck, dude? Dude, that time it was giving me easy fucking, uh, runs. Dude, you can't, like, fly slightly up. If your wing touches the block, that's it. You just fucking die. Dude, why did they put this here? Dude. Man. Man, fuck Flappy Flapper. This game's shit. This game shit. All right. <sighs> Dude, Flappy Flapper sucks. I played. I played this for Kirby. I didn't play this for fucking Flappy Flapper. Okay. I tried the extra game. The extra game was fucking crap. So I'm done. I'm done. I finished. <laughs> uh. Well. I think, uh, well, that's all I have for the night with Nintendo stuff. From here on out, I'm going to be doing solo streams of fan games. So, I have one g fan game dedicated to each of the next streams. Exactly! All my homies hate Flappy Flapper. Fuck Flappy Flapper, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Mecca. I tried my best to make this stream actually entertaining. Um, so, yeah, uh...
Uh, next stream, we will do Super Mario 64 Land, or Super Mario Land 64, some shit. It's it's basically a culmination of Super Mario 3D Land and Mario 64 into one game. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be really fun. So we're going to do that. And then after that, we have some few more games planned, and then we are, we are officially done. So, until then, uh, it's really late. No, that's all good, Dawson. Don't worry, I'm streaming again tomorrow, so I'll stream... Mario today. Yeah, dude, I don't blame you. I get tired. I Sometimes I get just so fucking tired, I just pass out, and I don't wake up for hours. I'm like, man, wasn't I supposed to be doing something? <laughs> uh, so, until then, I'll talk to you all later, and have a good night. Everybody go to sleep, because it's really fucking late, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that uh, I played video games for so long. Uh, I'll talk to you all later and have a great